Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live on EA TV. Hello, great to have you with us. Welcome to the distinctive Al Bike Stadium with its tent light structure. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting next to me with his tactics charts at the ready is Stuart Robson. And it is a first test for these two countries here at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's France, and they take on Australia. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. Adrian Rabio. Here's the side France will go with. Hugo Lloris is the goalkeeper. Rafael Varane plays with Dayo Upamecano in central defence. Antoine Griezmann starts alongside Adrien Rabio in the centre of the park. And the starting role in attack is handed to Olivier Giroud. the starting 11 for Australia. Well, 4-4-2 is a good formation if it's played well. It covers most of the bases defensively, and if you can then rotate your positions when you regain possession, you can also be fluid in attack. Let's hope we see that today. And now they get the ball rolling. Jackson Irvin. Will France be a hit or a miss? What do I mean by that? Well, when they won in 1998, everything was rosy in the camp, but they were dumped out in the group stage in 2002. They were runners-up in 2006, and then they completely imploded in South Africa in 2010. How about this time as holders? Well, they've got some great players. They've got an experienced coach. I think they've got good team spirit, so I think they're better prepared this time. I think they've got every chance, first of all, getting through this group, but also going on and winning the tournament. A gift for any goalkeeper. Chouameni. It's with Giroud. Griezmann. Good move in the making from France. Rabiot. Just wanted to get it out of there. Plenty of support here. Mbappe. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Jamie McLaren. Duke. Just the challenge that was required. Rabio might be a chance here. It. 
making progress and an effective clearance well visionary passing it could be for Mbappe might still be able to do a bit of damage well the attack grinds to a halt offside Well, the stats don't lie. It's been very tense and an even battle so far, but neither side has played with enough quality to pose a real threat going forward, and that needs to change. Yes, a very accurate assessment. Can they open things up here? Behic. And Moy with it. Oh, nice ball. So the whistle then, we're up the halfway stage in this match. Well, it's all been a little bit quiet on the Kylian Mbappe front in this match, Stuart. Well, it's not been a great performance from him today, but can he just find that spark? We know he's a good player, but not on today's performance. He just hasn't looked a threat. And this confrontation is underway. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Mbappe. The supporters want to see him have a go. Very quick thinking there. Giroud. And a good-looking ball. Must be a goal! 1-0! A fully deserved advantage based on what we've seen. Well, as you can see here, it all starts with a perfectly weighted ball in behind the defenders. And the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. moving once more how important will that opening goal prove to be useful looking ball oh but just unable to unlock the defense well they're getting right on top of their opponents at every turn excellent ball over the top Well, we can see it again now, and it all starts with the pass over the top. It takes out so many defenders. And then what a strike. The lovely half volley. It's so difficult to keep these down. This is a very tidy finish. So the ball rolling again. 2-0 the score. sumptuous ball it's always likely to be the goalkeeper's ball Mbappe and with that the attack fizzles out 20 minutes to go 
Mbappe. And he didn't hesitate. Good thing too. Well, he's so quick off his line. That's great goalkeeping, you have to say. Riley McGree. He's enjoying space. Oh, the threat is there. No problems grabbing hold of that one. Mbappe. Now Giroud. Mbappe. Well, he'd be disappointed if he didn't take that one cleanly. Jackson Irvin. Nathaniel Atkinson. And space for them here. Gives it a go. Oh, he's blocked it. And a double substitution it's going to be. A concession of a corner here. And still dangerous. A very timely interception. Can he finish? Terrific block. Can someone get on the end of this? Well, not the best clearance. That's great goalkeeping. Well, what a save that is. He was so alert there. And over comes the corner. Well, it still could be dangerous. Nicely blocked. It's a corner. Trying to pick out a teammate. And clears his lines. Well, there it is, the final whistle. And France have prevailed in this one. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, Derek, it was a comfortable win in the end. Fully deserved their victory because they dominated every aspect of the game. It was a really good result for them here today. Well, a stand-up performance it absolutely was from Ousmane Dembele. He turned on the style yet again, Stuart. Well, he gave that back line a torrid time, didn't he? He was far too sharp for them, always looking to play on the shoulder, took his goals well too. Clearly the difference maker today.